Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News with some latest events in the new province. And now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, on May 19, the Academy of Politics Reason Second in Ho Chi Minh City held a scientific talk show to research and change the contents of the book Some Theoretical and Practical Issues Zone Socialism and the Path to Socialism in Vietnam of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng. It attracted the participants of more than 800 delegates at the Academy of Politics Reason Second and at the brief place of some localities. Associate Professor Doc Nguyen Quoc Dung, Secretary of the Party Comedy, Director of the Economic and East Vice Director co-chair the talk show. Scientists and students from Academy of Politics Reason to present seven core reports on better awareness and confidence in the approach to socialism from the book of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng, Lesson from Party Building and Ratification. The talk has a theoretical, practical, and scientific meaning, thereby helping journalists layers to add more knowledge on political theory to strengthen free in the path to socialism, the leadership role of the party, whereby we will also propagate widely among all classes of people and party characters about the core value in the book. And we also see this as a handbook, a sharp weapon for us to fight against strong views, distorting claims of hostile forces, contributing to strengthening just protecting the part of socialism in the renovation of our party, and contributing to building a rich and powerful Vietnam. Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Quoc Dung also said that this book can be said to be very important for party members and leaders in the political system at all levels. This is the application of Marxism, Leninism, and Ho Chi Minh's ideology to the guideline of the Communist Party of Vietnam, and the leader is rated real in directing the activities of the Vietnamese Revolution. The book is not only a general application of Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality and style, Marxism, Leninism, but also the guiding and updated viewpoints of our party on the current situation of country. Affirming that the talk show achieved the set goals and requirements, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Quoc Dung also hoped that the issues and contents that General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trọng mentioned in the book will continue to be clarified in other scientific forums. Earlier on May 18, the delegation led by Mr. Hà Văn Siêu, Deputy General Director of Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, had a working session in Tinan Province on the implementation of the plan to reopen tourism activity under new normal conditions. Mr. Trung Văn Hùng, Director of the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism, said that the department has directed relevant departments and tourism service businesses to implement the following contents, strengthening communication and introduction of tourism activities under new normal conditions in the spirit of safe adaptation, flexibility, and effective control of the COVID-19 epidemic, suggesting that tourism service businesses build policies to support Support tourists. In the first five months of 2022, Tenen Tourism has 1,206,676 tons of staying visitors, an increase of 23.4% over the same period of last year. Total tourism revenue reached 726.8 billion Vietnamese, up 30.5% over the same period. In addition, the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism has successfully organized the program of paragliding around in Tenen, participated in tourism festival in Ho Chi Minh City, participated in Vietnam International Travel March, or VITM Hanoi in 2022, organized our CLP program and local products to community tourism, cooperated in promoting tenant tourism on Heretic Magazine and on TVC Friend of Vietnam Airlines Corporation. After the meeting, the delegation will conduct a survey at Baden Mountain Tourist Area and Mumbai International Border Gate. In the morning of May 19, the Indian Bronzo Youth Union held the ceremony to honor the seven advanced youth to follow Uncle Hall Wars in 2022. Attending the ceremony, there was Mr. Phạm Hùng Thái, standing deputy secretary of the Bronzo Party Comedy. 
at the program Mr. Võ Hoàng Khải, former head of the Propaganda and Training Department of the Provincial Party Committee, former Secretary of the Provincial Youth Union, talk about youth should learn and totally cross history, through private stories. They have provided more information, useful historical knowledge, and instilled patriotism and national pride for union members and youth. In addition to interacting with typical groups and individuals in studying and following uncle, the delegates also watch video clips about some outstanding results in the implementation of the campaign to build exemplary values for Vietnamese youth in the new era. Accordingly, the Provincial Youth Union has built a common model value criterion for the youth with four criteria including dynamic, enthusiasm, kindness, talking and doing, Standing Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Phạm Hùng Thái, appreciated the fact that the Provincial Youth Union has actually implemented many solutions to promote the study and following of Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality, and state. After today's commendation ceremony, I suggest that the Provincial Youth Union have a plan to promote propaganda of the achieved results, especially the models, tasks, and typical examples commending and rewarding to continuously spread and promote the patriotic emulation movement to study and follow Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality, and style among the youth of province. On this occasion, 10 groups and 10 advanced youth examples who follow Uncle Ho's words were awarded certificates of merit by the chairman of the Provincial People's Committee. The Provincial Youth Union also commended by Gladys and 25 outstanding individuals. After more than two years of implementation, the OCLP program has received the attention and guidance of all levels. The participation of the whole political system in the Nguyen province, especially the role of departments and branches, which participate in product reviews and ratings. The districts, towns, and the city have appropriate policies and solutions to develop our CRP products, especially preserving and developing traditional industries in rural areas. Currently, Tenen has 27 OCLP products, among them five products with four-star certification, including Tung Yen Un Chastin Rice Paper, Natani Custard Apple, Hoang Sung Cantaloupe, Vinh Sung Custard Apple Juice, and Vương Ngọc Vegan Custard Apple Win. The rest are restart products. OCLP products have a firm difference in the domestic and export markets. Our CLP brothers have closely followed the requirements of the program, are suitable for tests, and have met the needs of consumers for unique products, tradition, quality, traceability, and geographical indications. The OCLP program has contributed to the transformation of production in the direction of increasing the scale associated with the value chain, improving income for rural people of Tainan. On May 18, the representative of the Social Work Department of Tenant Newspaper and the Department of Social Work of Hong Kong General Hospital visited and presented a hospital fee of nearly 1 million Vietnam dong to support Ms. Nguyen Thị Thanh. Ms. Tan residing in Warfraw, Tenen City, had an accident and was diagnosed with surgery to replace the femoral neck joint with an estimated budget of 100 million Vietnam Nam Dung. However, she is coping with difficult circumstances and does not have her insurance card. Hong Kong General Hospital has decided to support 50% of the cost of surgery and post-surgery for her. The Social Work Department of the hospital also mobilized social organizations to support more funds for patients, in which the Social Work Department of the newspaper mobilized readers and sponsors to support 41 million Vietnam Dung. The Appeals Committee of World for the City also assisted in reissue identity documents and presented a health insurance card to help Ms. Tan have health care conditions later. The audience to mark the 132nd anniversary of President Ho Chi Minh's birthday on May 19, the Museum collaborated with Ho Chi Minh Museum, 
Ho Chi Minh City plans to carry out the thematic photo exhibition, Ho Chi Minh, the most beautiful name. The exhibition attracted many pupils, students, union members, soldiers, and people to admire more than 110 images and documents about resident Ho Chi Minh's daily life and revolutionary career. The exhibition has been on display from May 10 until 20, 2022. This is the first time being held in Tenen, with a very important role and meaning in both organizing thematic exhibition and combining the educational program and cohort with young people. Raw images and documents about the life and career of President Ho Chi Minh, the organizing unit would like to convey a message to everyone to continuously promote learning and following Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality, and style into the lifestyle, way of thinking and doing of each person. In particular, special attention is paid to fostering the generation of union members and young people in the province. The exhibition content consists of three parts. The first one is President Ho Chi Minh, the organizer and leader of the Vietnamese people, to successfully conduct the National Liberation Revolution, contributing to the world revolutionary cause. The second thing is that President Ho Chi Minh lived forever in the hearts of the Vietnamese people and the world. And the last one is the French examples of the men who study and follow Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality, and style. The thematic exhibition introduced to the public images and documents about the life and career of revolution. Some images of President Ho Chi Minh's daily life are the crystallization of good values of affection, morality, and personality of Vietnamese people. Cultural quintessence of Mankai, on this occasion, schools in Tinan province also organized for students to visit the exhibition and thereby have them strengthened with more useful knowledge. It can be said that the exhibition Ho Chi Minh, the most beautiful name, is a very meaningful event to celebrate the 132 birthday of President Ho Chi Minh. On this occasion, the role of directors of Nguyen Bình Kim High School also organized for the students to visit the exhibition to have them learn more useful knowledge about Uncle Ho's journey and cause of national salvation and liberation, thereby giving them a comfortable spirit to repair for the upcoming important exams. The exhibition also introduced 10 typical examples of Tenen, examples showing the lifestyle, fighting, working, and studying follow the great Uncle's example, the outstanding contributions of the young Vietnamese generation in the construction and defense of the fatherland, thereby inspiring and awakening the potential and creativity of the young Vietnamese generation in learning, working, and production. The thematic exhibition is an important event that contributes to promoting and creating a strong trend in the sense of cultivation, training, and following Ho Chi Minh's ideology, morality, and style in the whole society, especially among carers, party members, civil servants, public officials, union members, youth, students, etc., contributing to repair the deterioration of political ideology, morality, lifestyle, and social evils. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.